Welcome, true seekers, to the Tarot Temple. Here at Spirit Vibes, I am back with another work and money for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and on the cusp. If you fit that description, then hang around. This forecast may pertain to you. However, if it doesn't resonate, no problem. But as a disclaimer, in the famous words of the late Johnny Cochran, if it doesn't fit, please acquit. With that being said, remember to give all videos a thumbs and to check the description box on ways to contact me for personal readings, spiritual guidance, suggestions, as well as how to purchase Romance at Work Law Story for only $4.99. With that being said, get prepared to receive your messages from the greater source through me to you for the work and money week of May 23 until the 20th. Nine. Enjoy and stay woke. Hello, my survivors. I hope everyone is well. And thank you for taking the time to stop by the Tarot Temple here at Spirit Advice for your weekly reading and or forecast. And I would also like to thank all of my new subscribers. Thank you so much for um, expanding are increasing, increasing the Tarot Temple. It is my pleasure to bring you um, weekly guidance. It really is. I look so forward to this and I hope that you do too. So we can really get started um, with this week's work and money for May 23 to the 29th for my survivors. What do we have, dear source, for my survivors overall? You have the Eight of Spades, okay? And that is based on the Six of Diamonds. What you can expect is the king of spades, stemming from the nine of spades. A lot of air energy here. Outcome is the seven of hearts. Who else had seven of hearts? Outcome. I think it was Scorpio. You may be connected. Um, your challenge and or conflict and supportive energy will be discussed momentarily. Wow, underlying energy is the two of spades. This popped out on me as I was shuffling. You may have seen this. Or was it the two of wands? You got a lot of swords here. Then somebody that is Aquarian, Gemini, Libra may be significant in your chart, in your house, or in your week. <laughs> I'm half sleep, y'all. It's after 12. In your um, working money, or this could be you with a strong air element in your chart. And I'm you, you're deciding on a split. You're deciding on a split. I think you had this last week or week or so. You still haven't left? You're deciding on a split. This has to be decided. And which direction to go in as well. You know, this could be connected to Sagittarius. Last week we had um, East and West. So you may be deciding which direction to go in in terms of like size of towns. You know, maybe you're purchasing a house overall. You're trying to figure out which way to go. Didn't I say that? You're trying to figure out which way to go. You have to stay. You stuck to this thing until you can finalize something. But I can tell you right now, this is things, something you don't want to do. Or you don't want to be bothered with. It just may not be your cup of tea. It's just maybe a lot of paperwork. It, 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 it's a lot. Maybe it just takes taxes, your energy and your time. It's just something that you don't really want to have to figure out. But you have to. Because the king of spades is here. And now you either have um, an obligation to execute something. I don't know if you are a teacher, a lecturer, if you um, write for a living, if you investigate for a living, or if these, if it's an outside person regarding you. Again, I still see air. This is an air sign. I told you there's a lot of air energy. The air element is wrapped up in your work and money sector this week. You may be getting some advice from this person. Or you may be giving advice. But I think you're going to get advice. Because you're the one trying to figure this out. 
you're trying to figure something out, and it's based on the Six of Diamonds. Now, the Six of Diamonds may deal with a couple of three-party situations, third-party situations. This could be online and personal. I don't know. It could deal with um, purchases, exchange. This could deal with fringe benefits. Okay, but some type of reciprocity is here between two groups. Now, you may be in a, in between two groups. You may be a part of two groups, so to say. These two third parties may work together or be familiar with each other. Maybe, maybe you all are on the same property, okay, for instance. And you have your east and your west, and you have to decide where you want to go to serve whatever it is that you do. You may work in retail. I don't know. This is um, earth energy, tangible things. You, know, you may be serving food. You may be an entertainer. Um, this may be about um, tips. You know, because that's reciprocity. You know what I'm saying? You give me good service. I'll give you some tips. You make me feel good about coming in here. You make me feel good about the drinks that I drink, the food that I eat, um, the music that you play. I tip you. You see what I'm saying? Some advice is coming. Or this is stemming from some something that needs to be investigated. Some of you, this may be about surgery. Now, if this is the entertainment world, you're worried about this. I don't know if you if you already have complications or you just the idea of having to go under the knife. Because I do see that. And it's based on getting bigger returns, you know. If I do this thing, if I make this decision, if I get the booty shots or the bigger tits or the mommy makeover, whatever, I can accrue more income and I get that I'm not saying that's what you should do I'm telling you times are changing um I you know pay close attention to fashion and entertainment and stuff like that and one thing that stands out to me is the trend what I'm finding is that a lot of the celebrities and up and coming stars are natural they're very natural. It reminds me of the 80s, you know, in the early 90s when salt and pepper, they were natural. They had their own breasts, their own ass. It's coming back. That um, artificial thing, it's beautiful, but it brings a lot of problems on top of the fact that a lot of things can be um, masked. You know, because we're living in a changing world. This is not to put anybody down because I know everybody needs love. But there's a lot of trickery. Now that we have the crossover in terms of the gender, um, th there's a lot of perfection involved in that. So not to be so perfect may really be the ticket here because the male, the masculine, the straight masculine, the heterosexual masculine almost can't tell who from who anymore. But they can tell from your naturalness. They can tell from the the scar from the birth of a child. They can tell from maybe the breast not being so perfect from breastfeeding. You get where I'm going with this? This, I'm telling you, I've been seeing this for a while. I've said this before. This naturalness is going to be pertinent for the heterosexual male. Because it's getting hard to tell now. There's no Adam Apple. It's disappearing. So this may be about surgery. I don't know. I feel like I just had to. Well, this is the, the temple. You know, sometimes I got to preach. Let's find out the reason for the nine of spades and the six of diamonds. Something that's definitely been bothering you. You want to get back what you deserve, right? You want to get out of things. The things that you deserve, right? So if you invest in yourself, then you expect, you know, just like Cardi B, she was told to go 
and strip to make money. You see what I'm saying? So then they go and they get the surgeries to make more money. That's reciprocity. And the reason it's the five of cups, this has to do something with feeling outside the bunch or uh, a separation. Okay. A connection. I don't know. Maybe this, maybe this connection gave you some surgical advice or... Because you seem to be concerned about this getting back what you deserve, this reciprocity. You know, maybe just isolation. You know, maybe this is you. You're going to go somewhere. You're going to maybe go to your employer or somebody and speak your truth. You know, tell them the way you see it, you know, because of... You've been disappointed, maybe. You feel isolated. You feel alone. You feel... You know, picked out of the bunch. Or this has something to do with your heart. You know, it has to do with how something's going to work in love. And somebody... This is definitely advice. I don't know if this is surgical advice. I don't know if you're trying to do this to compete, but there are definitely options. You know, of course, there are all kinds of options here. You know, different things that you may love, that you see, that you like. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's at your picking, but, you know, be very careful what you pick because everything is not for you. You know, everything is not for you. That's just some things in life, I think, <laughs> It's hard for us to accept because of the media. You know, they it, they pretty much um, dictate how we should appear, how we should look, what fashions we should wear. You know, it's like going to the grocery store. They really dictate what we're going to eat, the brands that we're going to buy. Because you can't get it if, the dis if they don't buy it from the distributor to put it in the market. So they, whoever's behind the scene has the most power. I like behind the scenes. You have the most power, you have make the most money. The decision makers are behind the scenes. Yeah, the celebrities may make demands, but at the end of the day, I decide whether or not you even worth the trouble. You know what I'm saying? So don't never get so big, you know, that... You think that you, you know, that you can't be replaced because you can. And the conflict is making a decision about this. Which way to go? East or west? To the left, to the right? Where to start? Where to start based on this reciprocity, based on all of this stuff that you have to do? Because... It's a lot of stuff that you, a lot of duties and responsibilities involved in this, whatever it is. I don't know if it has to do with you personally in business or business person. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Is it personal business or business personal? I don't know. But you're up and down about it because you have to decide which way you want to go. Because you really need to meet up in the middle with this, with this Six of Pentacles. This reciprocity, you, it, it needs to be e equality. Yes, this is about equality. Getting your worth. Getting back what you put in. I give to you, you should be giving back to me. Maybe somebody told you this. Maybe somebody helped. Maybe this king of sword helped you see that light. Enlightened you about this. Or will. And what's going to help you with that is this jack of diamonds. Okay. Now, the Jack of Diamonds is responsible energy. And that's the first word, is being responsible, being patient, or a payment plan. This definitely can be about a payment plan. Yeah, because you definitely don't want to be in any debt with where this is concerned. I really believe this has a lot to do with surgery. We're going to find out with this spiritual vibe oracle message. Dear Source, what's going on with my survivors? This week when it comes to working money, 
what advice do you have direction or guidance for my beautiful survivors for working money oh may 23 you got the slain card uh, we got drake again i don't know well, you got to be smart about this you got to be wise about this decision okay you may need to take this advice because this is wisdom here intellect transformative the beautiful mind take some advice Definitely stem from something you've been worried about or concerned about. It may be how you, you're going to pay it off. But uh, the payment plan will work. It will not only will it work, it will still give you time to think about these options and you won't be in any debt. Drake lyrics. Okay, they're sticking together, y'all. It's represented mm, by the two of spades. How is that? I swear I saw that two of spades somewhere else. It was your underlying energy, wasn't it? Oh, wow. I don't know right off the bat what Drake's song or lyric would equate to the two of spades, which way to go in this decision. But you can Google those words and it will bring up a song that will be befitting for you pertaining to this forecast. You back and forth, you up and down, but you got to figure out which way to go. Because you got all the information. You got all the information, all the research, all the data that's been sent to you. And with that being said, survivors, I'm going to close it out here. Thank you so much for tuning in to the Tarot Temple here at Spirit Vibes. I hope you enjoyed it because I can't wait to bring you another one. And until then, take care of yourself. Peace and one love. Bye, fishes. <laughs>